afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. I'm Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2013 Holden Captiva 7 LX Wagon. Series 2, mind you, as well. We'll start off at the front of the car. You notice Holden used a lot of chrome at the front of this car. The chrome grille surrounds around our headlights and even down in the bottom of our front bumper bar, the surrounds around our driving lights as well. Colour-coded front parking sensors also on this car. Finished in a copper finish. Um, it presents really well actually. Factory alloy wheels, as you can see, the tyres are near new and absolutely unblemished our alloy wheel as well. Um, distinctive chrome badging and outer door handles uh, coming down the side. Colour coded exterior mirror with our indicators in the mirrors. Um, also does have factory side steps as well. Um, and the overall uh, uh, presentation of the Juco is in outstanding order. Uh, once again, our right-hand rear wheel, no marks on our alloys. Really good tread on the tyres, they're pretty much as new, so plenty of tread as well. And as we uh, come around to the rear of the car, once again, the, uh, the quality continues. Uh, a few things to just make a point of here on the rear of the car. We've got colour-coded reverse sensors. We've got a reverse camera, which we'll chat about later. High mount stop light in our tailgate as well on that little lip spoiler. Uh, we do also have a tow bar on this car which will give us the ability to tow two tonne. Um, and you notice there's a little scuff plate on our rear bar and the presentation overall is in really good order. Um, and the consistency continues as we come around to the passenger side now. Um, having a really good look at it. If I want to be particular, yeah that's not a scratch, that's just dirt. Um, mine a little touch up just said no that's dirt as well. So everywhere I touch, I think there's been a little bit of a paint touch-up, but it's not. So um, once again, the quality continues. Not a, not a mark on our left-hand front alloy wheel as well. Um, last thing to point out is we do have a factory sunroof being the LX. Um, so certainly an impressive, uh, impressive uh, exterior condition of this Captiva. Back around to the front of the car now. We'll have a little bit of a chat about the performance of the Captiva powered by a 3 litre V6 motor, uh, certainly going to deliver us the, uh, the performance we want. 190 kilowatts of power, 288 newton metres of torque, all at the same time giving us 10.1 litres combined fuel consumption per 100 k's. So you're going to get over 640 k's out of the uh, 60 odd litre fuel tank. Back around at the rear of the Captiva now, we can release the little window on the Captiva just by hitting the uh, button on our remote. Um, two factory keys as well, which is important. We can access the, uh, the rear of the car by the window um, in the event we need full access. Just a simple matter of releasing the little pneumatic button there. Um, and then of course our tailgate lifts right up out of our way. As you can see at the moment, we've got uh, on the third row seats just one side set up. So really flexible that you've got the two drop-down seats. Um, their operation is just that easy. Um, you know, a six-year-old could do that. And then just simply putting it back into position. We still gain a little bit of storage area just in the back here. Tow bar tongue secured inside the car. Um, the only thing, and it's not a criticism, just a few minor little marks on the back of the second row seats. Uh, but certainly like you to be aware of that, part of the reason we do these videos. So here we are inside the Captiva now, and I've got to say, really impressive interior as you're going to see over the next couple of minutes. On our driver's armrest, all of our power window switches at our disposal there, not a scratch on the door trim. We do have leather panels in, in the door trims as well. Uh, just up in the front here, we've got a button to adjust the brightness of our dashboard. Um, just depending on how bright you like it. The controls for our exterior mirrors just to the left there. As you can see here, we've got auto headlights, so uh, they will turn themselves on automatically as required. Our steering wheel is height and reach adjustable, leather wrapped, we'll look at the condition, like new. And then we just lock our lever into position there and we're, we're good to go. On our right hand side here, not only do we have our cruise control settings, uh, we've also got uh, buttons to adjust our fan speed for our air conditioner as well. Um, then as we come over to the left hand side, we've got our audio controls, volume and station um, and whatever mode we're in. 
uh, plus our Bluetooth buttons as well. So it does have Bluetooth also. Uh, moving into the centre section now. Actually, I'll just turn my seat heater off. Oh, it's getting a little bit hot on my seat. Starting up the top here, we've got a little storage compartment there. Um, directly below that, our navigation screen does support satellite navigation. Also, as we mentioned earlier, does have a reverse camera. Outstanding clarity in the picture there as well. Um, just lock ourselves back into park. We can turn our reverse sensors off if we don't want the noise. Um, we've got our downhill descent control, um, digital, digital clock, traction control, hazard lights. Below that, our, our head unit um, shows our station, MP3 compatible, CD player of course, um, and just all of our master unit. Auxiliary input there on our right hand side as well. Down below that, we've got our uh, heating and cooling. Um, it is climate control. Um, so you can actually uh, set whatever temperature you desire. Just hit your auto button and you're done. A 12 volt outlet to our right hand side there. Our transmission of course, just an automatic. We can drive it in manual mode if we want to. Also has economy mode as well. And then directly behind that, we've got an electric park brake. And as I mentioned, heated seats. They work quite well, mine was heating up fairly quickly. Cup holders here as well. And then if we just flick this button here, it opens up another big storage compartment down the bottom there. And as you can see, there is, a, there is an auxiliary input there as well, just to plug in any of our devices if we wish. Um, so quite, quite a unique little storage compartment that not a lot of people know about. Another good storage compartment just there as well. Once again, pay real attention to the, the quality of the interior. It's been really well maintained. Um, being the LX also it does have full leather interior, so our front and third row and even second row, <laughs> how did I do that? Front, second and third row seats are all leather. Our carpets are in as new condition with factory floor mats as well. Um, the last thing we'll have a quick look at, uh, this car's done 95,000 Ks. We'll just have a bit of a look at uh, the servicing of the car as well. Uh, let me see, it was, a, it was a, a company car, fleet car, owned by Coles Supermarkets, uh, their head office in Hawthorne actually. So I would expect that, sure enough, every single service all the way through carried out at the correct intervals, right up into the current intermediate service which we've carried out when we received the vehicle. So in summary, a really good example of a 2013 Holden Captiva 7 uh, LX wagon. A few things to recap on, 190 kilowatts out of our three litre motor, 288 kilowatt, sorry, 288 newton metres of torque, but still delivering us 10.1 litres per 100 k's. Um, a really nice example, you've got your navigation, reverse camera, full leather interior, two tonne towing, it's got it all. Uh, give us a ring on 9907055 and we'll be able to assist you further.